Over the last week, I've been tinkering away with the emulation for Kodak 2383 as a camera profile. And I know, that's quite a lot of information. So, let's break it down. Kodak 2383, it's an iconic film stock. It was not used to film the movies on it, but it was used to print the movies on it before it was shipped to a cinema near you. And this meant that a lot of movies inherited its awesome look with warm highlights, bluish dark tones, and a really rich contrast. And I want that look in my photos as well. But the real problem was the fact that this film stock also has a ton of contrast and I couldn't bake that ton of contrast into a camera profile because that would mean that when you start editing you'd have to decrease your contrast by a lot. And I meant it, a lot. And that wouldn't even be the worst thing, but reducing the contrast wouldn't actually fix it because the middle of the S-curve that we're creating for Kodak 2383 is not around the middle of the spectrum like it is when you are decreasing the contrast with the contrast slider. But this week, because I was tinkering with camera profiles for another video, the one that's linked below, don't click on that yet. I figured out that I can also bake masks into camera profiles and that meant that I would have one more curved panel at my disposal to actually be able to compensate for the weird S curve that I'm putting in place with my color response curve. And while I know that sounds super complicated, I'm the one who has to deal with that and you can just buy the camera profile of me, but the idea is that I now have the colors of Kodak 2383 without the annoying contrast and I can put my own contrast in place whenever I'm editing a photo. And after doing all that, my portraits will hopefully look like they belong in a movie and I can finally say that I'm taking cinematic portraits. That was it for today, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.